It's really no surprise, the world we live in can sometimes be a truly cruel and horrible place. There exists good people and bad people, people who do awesome things and people who do some pretty terrible things. First, to get it out of the way, let's talk about the good people because I know most of you guys want to hear about the bad people. We'll get to that in a minute, but let's talk a little bit about how I got across this film. An awesome fan and subscriber by the name of George Ortiz reached out to me saying that he had put together a brand new mixtape. Now I know a little bit about the mixtape scene, I'm more familiar with obviously shockumentaries and a little bit of Mondo, but I have only seen very few mixtapes out there. Mainly the MD Pope trilogy, we'll get to that eventually, but he reached out to me saying that he put together a mixtape on his own and wanted to send me a copy in hopes that I would review it. And me being me, I said of course, send it on over. And I wasn't really sure what to expect. Once I opened up the package he sent me, I was literally blown away by the high quality of everything he sent. This was the main thing he sent me. This is a mixtape, one of the very few Blu-rays that I own besides Faces of Death and True Gore, but this is called, this is his mixtape, Euthanasic Voluntire. I really don't know exactly what it means. George, if you're watching this, please drop a comment down below and kind of explain to me why you chose this title. I'm really curious to, uh, hear your thoughts on it. And as you can see right in there, George also um, autographed it for me. At first I was confused why he put a VHS logo at the bottom of the Blu-ray, but I soon found out once I hit play on the television. So now let's get into the bad people. This is a mixtape pretty much on a bunch of drug cartel executions. The execution methods range pretty much from gunshots, to knives, to machetes, to chainsaws, etc. Is it disgusting? You bet it's disgusting, but this is one thing that I really was not expecting out of this being a mixtape. Most mixtapes, and again I'm gonna refer to MD Pope on this, they're pretty much just footage from the internet thrown together without any real care nor reason behind the actual film being besides the fact of, okay, let's throw in a bunch of these clips and call it a day. Euthanasic Voluntire pretty much takes the mixtape idea, but takes it to a whole different level. It has a pretty kick-ass soundtrack, and George actually sent me the link to Bandcamp, where you could actually listen to the uh, soundtrack from this Blu-ray, and I will put that link below, and I encourage all of you to check it out. It's actually pretty kick-ass. Now, when it comes to this little VHS logo, he made the mixtape kind of like a... He basically put in a VHS filter in it, which made it look pretty rough and only made it seem more unsettling to watch. Almost like if you forgot for a second that you were watching this on a Blu-ray and you kind of got it on some sort of bootleg VHS tape, being how underground and rugged the film really is. Again, for a mixtape, this is probably the most high quality and made with, dare I say it, love. A project I have really ever seen. And for that, I give George Ortiz a lot of credit. Again, the footage is mostly cartel footage shot from cell phones, a lot of it up close, so we do see a lot of gore, and it feels honestly weird to be saying this, but on the Blu ray, the gore looks really crisp. I honestly can't believe I'm saying that. That's another thing, I don't know if he did something to make the footage look a lot cleaner, but for being a mixtape and on Blu-ray, this is some of the cleanest footage that I have ever seen. A lot of decapitation and a lot of dismemberment, with a side of a lot of guts and a lot of blood. Now when it comes to reviewing a lot of these Mondos, shockumentaries, and now mixtapes, I normally don't talk about where to find them because either A, people already know where to find them, or B, they're hard to find. But with this, I highly encourage anybody who's a fan of mixtapes to definitely check this out. 
If you want to learn more, definitely look him up on Instagram. I'll put his username down below. It is Chicken Holocausto. Every time I post something on Instagram and I see Chicken Holocausto like this photo, I really just crack up. It is one of the weirdest Instagram handle names that I've ever heard. So again, if you want to learn more about this and find out how you can get yourself a copy, definitely hit him up on Instagram. George was also kind enough to send me a few extras, including some mini posters, stickers, as well as a few buttons. And he also sent me the next entry in the series, so if you want to see a review on that, definitely hit that like button. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming by and checking out this review. And again, thank you so much to the creator, George Ortiz, for sending this over. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all my latest videos posted every Monday, Friday, and occasionally Wednesday. And also make sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, to stay posted on what I'm doing behind the scenes of making these videos. Before you click off this video, don't forget to hit it with a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below saying what do you think of the mixtape I just talked about and what's your favorite mixtape out there. Until next time, take care and stay scared.